second. We gonna start this bitch up live on YouTube. Okay, they've been Icebox, Ben Breeze, Pick a Sense, Defend First. So, first map is looking like a scent. ECG will be defending first, second map will be Bind, and ECG will be defending first again on there. I don't know what's happening. They ban split. Woo! <laughs> Not the fan pearl, that's crazy. Um. Um. Last, last two are uh, Lotus and Sunset. <clears throat> Band Sunset, yeah, Decider Lotus. I was just talking Y'all want to switch to defense? Uh, do you want to attack or defend on um on Lotus? It's whoever has the most rounds after the first two. If we go to the third map, got it. Okay. Live. Event is live. Can you send YouTube link, please? Yes, 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 yes. I got you. Here you go. All right, I have YouTube chat open. I have fish chip. Other chat open. Discord. Discord chat open. Woo. <clears throat> um, it looks like his game crashed. Uh, give us, give us like a minute or two. Oh, thank God. Okay. Game oh, do you guys want to have a little more time? I'm cool with it. Uh, I was just yeah, just one is gonna be streamed. Um, so if you oh. want any vods or anything like that, uh, she'll obviously be able to see both sides. Um, she's not in our yeah, hall. I'm, I'm not worried. Okay, about it. I doubt you cheat on this. No, never. Slightly, never in slightly any of my guys cheated? Yeah, no. If any of my guys cheated, it'll be pissed. Yeah, we're not fucking losers. <laughs> On God, no kizzy is nuts. <laughs> I mean, it'd be pretty sad to cheat. I'm fat talking. Yeah, custom. <laughs> Yo, Nick, thank you for the boost to the server. Oh my god. Wait, didn't you already boost it? Whoa, whoa. What's up, baby girl? How you doing? <laughs> I'm nosy. Oh, we we were about to lose three. Oh, oh okay. I see. I see. A gate Hold on you should be able to wait. I'm just gonna automatically do that. Hello I'm not lonely anymore. Oh 
a lot. Everything's everything's doing everything on One Piece right now. No, so real, so real. I'm getting my nice mic uh, plugged in currently, so give me a second. Mm. I, I mean, this one cool. already sounds. Really? You already you sound like beautiful. Aww. Unfortunately, I'm not going with chicken because beef sounds nice. Fair. Okay, I, I only say chicken because I'm right now, I'm off inflammatory meats for the next little bit. And uh, beef is a big one. That's, that is very true. I'm on a chicken. Uh, I'm letting myself have, I know, no, literally, my roommates are upstairs right now making burgers and I'm like smelling <laughs> no it. <burger. laughs> no burger. No burger, No. <laughs> I've been I've been sitting up there smelling those burgers. I'm like, damn. Okay, I'm gonna something. see if I can make sense of this. Okay, Icebox is banned. Breeze is banned. Ascent first map. ECG defending first. ECG picks bind. WSU is attacking first. And they banned split. ECG banned Sunset, making the decider Lotus. Ooh. Woo! Can someone write that down? <laughs> I'm gonna forget. <laughs> so we're playing Say Bind, again. Ascent, and... Ascent. Okay, Ascent, first map. ECG is... Uh, da -da -da -da. ECG is defending on Ascent first. ECG's map pick is Bind. And they're defending first again. Decider will be Lotus. Oh, you got it. Okay. All right. It is written down in the VC as well. So we have uh, written. Come on. Will you just mount to this desk? Please. It is not hard. <clears throat> Looks like we finally got our teams in place. Guys, I'm signing up for something not good. What is this something that's not good? <laughs> one be wanting all right. <laughs> I mean, I I think you beat him any day, but like that's just me. Don't tell all right. I said that before. But, I mean, whenever we scrimmed, I was looking pretty clean against him. I'm not gonna lie. No fruit. And honestly, I think that there is something to be said about the fact that there is no one that you're better against than the person that. Like you work with, right? Like, like exactly. you've been like practicing. Are you guys with cool with Illinois? I think it's kind of trippy with where you guys are located. It's kind of fucked unless we go California, Oregon, and it fucks us. Italy is beautiful. All right. Just let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> All right. And are are we streaming this? Observe everybody. Yes, it is being streamed to YouTube as well. The link is in the announcements channel, just in case. And Nick has tweeted. And here we go. We are live with Ascent in our map. Oh my god. It's about to be a long night. For fucking real. So, <laughs> this is so <laughs> Uh, Kate, by the way, I won't be looking at chat too much, but look, he really wishes it was a Cascade pick. I feel like at some point we can probably get that set up, but for now, they're just kind of, I guess, chilling. Looks like WSU has got their picks pretty much locked in. Don't know what's going on with the ECG guys. I think they're just having a nice little pre-game talk. Yeah, it generally looks like their selections are pretty steady. Um, mm -hmm. Well, this is gonna be a looks like a very game. much mirror comp today. Typical ascent. Nobody's playing the 
loud comp, which is kind of crazy. Who the fuck is Bullseye is crazy? Yeah, we don't know them. They're just friends. This team is actually a friend of ECG, to be honest. They've scrimmed each other, I think, twice now. And Emerald likes to keep adding people who actually put up a fight against our boys. So I guess we'll see how tonight goes. Do they iron out all the nitty gritty? Are they able to take them down this time? Well, and what's especially interesting about a tournament like this, um, which, being the first for our boys, it's the fact that they've never really had to worry about the fact that they have to place three separate maps like it's the same team over and Exactly. Over. Which is very, very true. Very true. Huh? What I did? Emerald, get out of chat, brother. Yeah, come on. You're speaking up right now. All right. Looks like we are starting off with a heavy towards a tree over here. Interesting. Let's see what Baps has cooked up today. And it looks like we are officially live. Looks like our attackers are going towards mid, though. Heavy mid presence. I'm also really bad at observing, guys, so please just handle it. Looks like we've got two down. We are in a 3v3 now. Are they aware of the pizza hold here? And ultimately, I'm seeing a lot of separation from, honestly, both our teams, both the teams here, but we're, we're, we'll see who gets that first pick to, to spur things on. All right, they know about the pizza lurk, know that he's pushed up now. Are they going to be able to group up on site? Is Fish Chip going to be able to get one down before he goes down? Oh, there it is. There's one. And he goes down. Back in a 2v2. We have plan going down on triple pop. We'll see what they do. Omen has smoked off their boxes to try to get some space here. Let's see if they go back towards lane or if they group up. We smoked off the spike here. I don't know how this is going to fare for the attackers. Orion goes down. Can Baps get this clutch? It's a 1v2. Oh, and he goes down. <laughs> NT, guys. NT. That was a really good pistol. Gonna go back over here. Again, I apologize for my observing skills. They're actual shit. <laughs> oh, smoke iron game is crazy. Easy, come on. Go easy on him. Uh, my fault. Okay. I'm done with the puns. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have five men on A. Okay. Interesting strat. I've seen them do this before, and they've been able to pull it off on these thrifties, but let's see. Iron game. I'm twitched. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Ooh, and it looks like three go down within the first five seconds of the round. What are these two gonna do here? Initial push, so that definitely is a gun down, which is always a bonus in our in our pistol round. In our and they've round. also gotten the armor and most of health. Jet's health on Jet, so which is really good. Let's see if Orion can get any more damage. Any, even even chip damage here is really good. Who am I supposed to be rooting for? Red or green? Uh, green. Defenders right now. All right, Orion's going for the loot back around. Is he gonna catch this KJ off? Okay, so KJ sets up the alarm bot. Can Orion get past it? Oh, it looks like we're gonna smoke it. Oh, but it still catches him. Can we get some drip damage? Oh, NT, NT. Well, we got a gun down and at least one person's armor, which is pretty good for an eco round full classics. <clears throat> Alright. Also, if there's anybody's point of view you guys would like me to watch, I most definitely will go to them. 
preferably only on the ECG side because those numbers are easier to figure out. We are in ECG's first full buy round. Let's see how it goes. Show us our the fan favorite, Mr. Orion himself. Our smoke's gone. All right, guys, we have numbers. I wonder if we choose. Baps is looking like he wants to get a pick. Is he going to be able to get out? And he's out. Sova's droning up into a main for them. Baps gets it down pretty fast, though. Falls back on the site. Are they going to be ready for this off angle from Orion? Let's see Baps point of view here. Baps, let's go. Baps is our goat. Sees KJ crossing over to Wine, knows that she could cross back, but they know that there's at least two people still here. Do they see the tree? Oh, Ryan gets him down. Down All right. A. Nice job, guys. Let's go. Our goat Baps. Let's go, Baps. Really proud of Baps not over peaking here. That's normally been like pretty interesting problem that he's had, but let's go. All right, who's POV? Who's POV fish? All right, let's stay on fish. Let's stay on fish. <laughs> You're simply doing your job is crazy. Nah, 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 nah. We know Babs can play for his team. Let's be real. All right, let's see if fish can get anything down here. <laughs> Gets at least one. All right, let's let's see what duels are going on over here with Garza, our new member, actually new member to the main roster, our goat of KO. Nice shots from Garza. We see here it goes down with the Omen. Let's see if Omen gets anything here. Let's see what Baps does here. He's he's in that like twenty HP right now. It's looking like, so we'll see what kind of what kind of play Ooh, they make. Let's together. check. Oh, we are sitting at a beautiful six HP. Hopefully, we don't pick this KJ turd. If we do, we probably go down here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, and they get him through the door. See if Justin can make anything of this flash here. Oh, uh, NT ECG goes down. Not too bad of a round. We're going in with a kind of broken buy, but I think it'll get sorted out. Hopefully, they get this stuff. Not the high jewels gift. That's crazy. Okay, starting with the. Just tap heads. You know, Ryan, you're so right. What happened during scrim, though? Uh -huh. Just kidding. My bad. <laughs> Looks like we got KJ solo holding A site here. Boys stacking it up on B. I wonder if they go for a push. Fish chip taking first shot. Two go down. Does Orion back off? TPing out to CT, kind of giving up sight here. Do they hear the comms that they're trying to take a sight? Let's see what's going on over here on Garza's POV. Ooh, gets the head dink on KO. Oh! 
All right, with the nice shots as always. Spike planted. Down to 70 HP. Oh, NC had the read but couldn't land the shots. All good though. Well, it looks like our defenders are taking a timeout. Yep. Uh, and in all, in all honesty, it's, that's definitely needed on their part. Um, the team is starting to build up a little bit of... The other team is starting to build up a little bit of confidence, a little bit of a... Not necessarily a snowball effect, but they're definitely got the, the ball moving. So giving the boys a chance to kind of figure out what to do here to counter what the other team is doing is super necessary. So. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get to see something new once, <clears throat> once they come out of this timeout. Hopefully, with Orion as the new IGL, officially pre-rounding for everybody, I wonder if he's going to be able to get some reads on them, see if they can make different plays, draw out some rotates from our attacking team, see if we can get any aggressive picks. guess we'll see. Orion is talking right now. Nah, bro is cooking in that VC right now. Hopefully Emerald's noticing some things as well from his coach's POV. See if we can also play to our team's strengths. I think I'd really like to see some KO jet action here. Honestly, in mid, but looks like... Well, I've honestly been a little bit surprised by the lack of aggression from our boys shadow. on defense. They, they tend to be just a little bit more... They're pit. Really, but, uh, but that's really early playing cautiously today. Is, is all on they most definitely are. Ryan's about to get the flash of his lifetime. Can they capitalize off of it? Ooh, Babs gets one with his sheriff. Backs up. Garza flashes his teammate, but gets a pick there. They know Jet's still there. Oh, Orion goes down from Jet. Let's see if Garza can trade him out. They know that Jet is still mid. Do they choose to clear him out? Looks like they're going to choose to get this Jet before. But it's a little too late. Jet's already backed up back towards main. So they're going to get through tree here. Let's look and see what Justin's got cooking on KJ up here. See if we can get some shields down. Not enough time to get the bomb down, but at least enough time to get a lot of bodies and guns out of play however this team is on a really good buy right now so let's get back over here looks like we're gonna be saving just to get everybody back on the same buy as well looks like we're at least gonna have some ko aggression still shocked to not see jet paired up with ko here to be honest it looks like the jet and the omen have been Trying to play, they to stick together for the, the blind, the blind possibility, but I don't know. Looks like Babs is taking aggression towards Tiles, flashing out here. Gets one down. Let's see if they can get another. Get some chip damage. Some really good aggression. That was beautiful from our team here. Looks like they're giving up a site. Which is perfectly fine. They got a KJ ult down. Alright, Babs, let's see you cook better. Orion smokes main. Oh. Oh, beautiful round from all of our teammates here. Huge. <laughs> Master kind the rifty. <laughs> huge round, huge round. 
Oh, truly. What is the what is an ace? I forgot. I buy power ace. Thank you guys. Thank you chat for reminding me. All right, looks like we have Jet going mid here. Faps has the op in hand. Let's see, is bro gonna cook today? There's one. Does he get another? Oh, gets another! Baps are go! Do they repeak him? Gets Baps! You're insane! 4k for Baps! I buy power ace! Let's go, Baps! You're insane! Holy shit! But check this man's PC, our goat. Oh, I wish I could cheer him on right now. <laughs> That's my chat. That's crazy. We need to listen in after that. If I could, I definitely would, but... Joel's about to buy someone a bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's see what he cooks up. Does he, he goes to the same spot? Kind of shocked to see this, but honestly, don't hate it. He's able to get, oh, uh, still get scanned by that. I know he's mad right now. They get the alarm bot down with the Sova dart. Does Baps reposition? Nope, stays mid. He's still holding this. Looks like the enemy omen is looking to try to get some tree control, but. Doesn't want to take the fight. Oh! Gets jet through the smoke is insane. Repositioning towards to look towards B main. Looks like the enemy team is going to be going for A. A lot, a lot of progress from BAP seen in the scrim so far. Let's see if they can get the five man retake going. Got the KJ ult down as well. Do they use the Sova ult to clear this KJ ult out? Looks like the enemy KJ is coming up on the flank though. gonna get half tier. Oh. Oh! And that still gets out. <laughs> gets a classic kill on Sova. Beautiful round. Let's see, let's take a look. Oh, no, we're, it looks like we're going back. Oh, it looks like he might be going garden this time. Are we gonna hold on tree? It looks like we're gonna be holding the tree angle today. Enemy team not looking to go towards tiles this time, but they do know that the team is towards B at the moment. Oh, Ryan's gonna... TP over to help the team. Babs gets an early pick. Gets the KJ turret down as well. Nope. We're back. We're back. They do? Yeah, they do have the Omen ult. Probably just gonna use it to get on site, so... Oh, I thought he was gonna miss it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Spike planted. Right, let's see if we can go back. Get Garza's POV. Clearing this side of main. Using the KO ult for retake. Gets one down. Goes down on lane. Uh, unfortunate. Let's see. They might have enough to buy Babs another op. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Odin lame. So real. Send class. <laughs> 
We do have a couple Sun Classics over here in ECG. I can't lie to you guys. Me personally, Leviathan. <laughs> Except you take my Sun Classic, everyone. No, I know. It's because of the buddy. Bab's taking a really aggro angle over here on A main. Let's see what happens in mid here. It looks like Sova's gonna be droning mid for them. See what's going on over here. Looks like the enemy team is going to be pulling back out of tree. KO, KO knife's not going to catch anything there. Looks like Omen's going back through tiles. No, nope. actually might be going up mid this time. They get the KJ suppressed. They see two people mid. They've got Spike down now. And Bob's coming in. Radiant gun buddy. Yes. Our new... Fifth man. What number is he again? Oh, he's number... Number one. No, I, I, I truly get that. <clears throat> Some heavy aiming presence from the enemy team. Also, peeking mid, though. Looks like they might be peeking into the op if Baps chooses to swing out. But he is currently... Ooh! Beautiful, beautiful pick from Baps. Just enough aggression to get them the advantage, but backs off just to stay with his team. Really good call. Let's see what Garza and Orion are doing over here in Tree and Garden. Get suppressed by the KO9. Baps down to 13 health. Let's see what's going on here. His ship should heal him, it's crazy. Oh, Babs with the pick in hell. Do they get this KO here? Oh, damn, Babs goes down. Oh, beautiful. Such a good half. Really good half. Starting the half off with a 6-6 six, six split down the middle. ECG really starting to pick it up now. I feel like they're getting their confidence back after not having played for a couple days with each other. Yep, and, and truly going into the, your first ever best of three tournament is a little spooky. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would be scared too. So um, it's good to see them really begin to realize that, that they're they can kill this absolutely and and you can see in how they're playing like baps last half with some of those op peaks that those are op peaks of a truly confident player so I, i'm really excited to see what happens this half for them no truly looks like cage has got a light up here kind of curious where that molly lands Guards it down to 1 HP because of that Sova dart. Let's see if he can get anything else. Looks like he's just going to be going for some regular aggression here. Hopefully he stays alive with KJ so they can at least get one more. 
but even a wall bang and he's gone. Gets another one. Oh, that honestly would have been insane. Very close, very close. Gets KO and KJ down early in the round with the KO and I wonder if they choose kind of shocked they didn't choose to go a little faster on this. Or fast. I, I mean honestly with me knowing a KJ is here, I Garza, I caught that in 4K. And then one tap KJ is crazy. Okay, he's redeemed himself easy. He has redeemed himself, chat. Don't even worry. Those whiffs on KO don't even matter. You know what? Even, even the best of us are going to Oh! Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> MasterCard Thrifty is insane. Garza redeeming himself. Orion picking up a Phantom as well. Able to drop the share for his team. Picks it back up, I guess. Orion. <laughs> very true, very true. Garza earned the respect back. He earned, he earned it back. Chet adores him. <laughs> Garza, my goat. Looks like the omen was able to avoid the Sova dart mid. Wasn't scanned or anything. Let's see if he takes some early aggression. Spotted though by Orion here in mid. TPing away. Do they read the TP onto that little box there? All right, finally got him down. Let's go, Babs. Let's go, Babs. Full shields and everything. Let's go. Very nice round from our boys on the buy round. Oh, your mic's cutting out again. Of course it is. Um, it is, is there KJ setting up on B? Have they not yes. setting up on B? Uh, looks like they set up on A the past couple of rounds, but KJ is back on B. I wonder if they're able to read this. They've got an Odin from the Sova over here, as typical Ascent players normally do. Yep, the, the Odin... And KJ combo can can truly be be the biggest of blenders, one might even say, the, the deadliest of them. So let's see how see how the let's go, Babs. Takes a little chip damage from the. Uh, from the Odin goes down to the Omen from Market. Spike planted. Oh, nobody's watching the lane. Oh, and ECG goes down. A little too split up, I think. Not watching each other's. 
danger angles, but all good. Hopefully they take something from that round and are able to fix that post plant just a little bit. Tweaking it. The take was good, but the post plant was just looking a little rough. Need a drop. Let's get, let's Guess get I should switch like Let's see. Let's get that omen POV. Our goat, mm -hmm. Orion, our IGL, our John Cutie in training. So real. <laughs> see, taking first contact in mid here. Trying to get a pinch going with our heavy cat side. Looks like they're pinging on that box again, expecting someone to be there. A little weary of when Omen was there last time. Going out. Omen's smoking mid, so he can probably get across to his team. Sofa droning. Not catching anything, though. Let's check out what's going on with this ship over here. Let's go, Babs. Babs getting some space up in the garden. Weary of that, ooh, that timing. Oh, almost gets the Sova down with that, but KJ just on five HP. Let's get the Orion POV here. Ooh. Fish ship going down. Is kind of half of with the KJ going down to heaven. Last player standing. No, TP's right into his line of sight. So real. Keep going over to their POV. Currently it's sitting at eight nine. Around it'll switch automatically. There's it's a little a little funny of a mechanic in my opinion. <laughs> Just a bit, but you know, it happens. It is what it is. We just let's see. I wonder if ECG is gonna end up taking a timeout. I think if they lose this round, they do, but forcing up except for Babs. Um, at this point, honestly. One away from all. Let's see if he's able to get this orb here, get those knives going. Babs successfully gets this orb. Pulling out knives, ready to execute with his team. Orion oh, lurking a little on A with bomb here. Does have ult. Garza goes down to CT by KJ. Or actually, it was Sova. And Babs gets opt in mid from an unlucky updraft um, that was seen by their jet. So we are down to a 3v5. We'll see how Orion wants to play this. Being he is solo with the bomb, a little bit more separated than the KJ and the Sova are. Just the enemy team being very patient just to see where everyone's going. Ryan throws a cross map smoke over to his teammates for CT. Let's see if they can get out on the site. Oh, Ryan TPing into Boathouse. Fish chip able to get one. 2v4. Very winnable, might I say. Unfortunately, looked right into that blind, but you know, I think we've all done that a time or two trying to dodge a sky blind and end up looking directly into it. Enemy team gets the op back as well. That was happening me in the scrim 
You mistral, huh? What? <laughs> okay. You know, like I said, looks like we are taking a time out. Oh, the flash. <laughs> I got bullied. Yeah. I taught them well. What can I say? <laughs> Let's see. I wonder. I want to know who's yapping in VC right now. I. It. It's either. It's either Emerald or Orion. It has to be one of the two. Possibly Fish Chip. Possibly. But I guess we'll see. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little shocked to see Fish Chip on Sova. They have been running Phoenix here lately. So seeing him on Sova all of a sudden kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I guess they're making it work. I think he's just a little more comfortable on uh, Phoenix compared to like when I've seen him in game, but they really do need that extra umph from the shock darts getting KJ Util down in mid. <laughs> Chat is going crazy right now. <laughs> that is such a cute gift. What the fuck? I'm keeping that. <laughs> Yoink, it's mine now. Okay, with the timeout ending, we start to see a little bit more of uh, Ko and, and, and Jet playing together, which we haven't been seeing... Not necessarily luck, but not as much this game, so that's that's good to see for sure. Yeah, definitely agree. You don't ever want to overplay it, but, you know, not seeing it a whole lot from the defense whenever they were there. Just a little odd. Even now you can see on the enemy team's defense, they have Jet and KO stacked up together. Junked gets the pick on Garzd early with an early pick. I think he peaked a dry, but... Looks like Omen's gonna get that information on mid. Jet's coming here with the op. Now let's see what happens with these. Justin goes down against the Jet as well. Going out for for his players, um, so they can easily take mid without uh, worrying too much about that op. It looks like to get to three, but none of them are able to break that. Ooh. Oh, nice shot from. And they get the off down as well. Looks like enemy team might pick it up, might not. See if we can get one. Baps gets one, playing early in line. Nice play, Fish. Nice play. Really good round. Exactly what we needed just to definitely stay in the game. Most definitely. Seeing Baps play and wind there, honestly, a really good call. I know in my silly little plot diamond games, I never see people playing in wine whenever a Sova ult is playing for main. <laughs> Oh, a really good bait from the enemy Sova with that dart, but still goes down. ECG still in the lead as of numbers in a 4v2. The enemy team looking like they're on a pretty decent eco, but we'll see. Looks like they're going to be taking space towards A. KO and Omen taking it real slow. Unsure where the enemy KO and Omen are. Keep seeing a lot of KO Omen duels here. Funnily enough. Looks like Orion's planting for multiple angles. This seeming to be one of the new popular plants, actually. Oh, 
it down. Good round, good post plan from our boys. We tie it up back to 10-10. Looks like we are in for a long night if this is Careful. foreshadowing of <laughs> the rest of the games. Honestly, <laughs> They really so have. We're, we're excited to see uh, how they fare throughout the, re the rest of the games. Bro, I gotta go to bed soon. <laughs> Next game better be a 13-0. I mean, I've seen our guys pull it off, but with this team, it's, it's a really, really decent battle they've got set up here. Definitely uh, in to see some pretty good matchups. Yep. It's I like they're throwing down the KJ ult. <laughs> Babs clearing out Boathouse for his team. W Duelist clearing out space for everybody. Let's see if he decides to push up a little bit. If you remember the round where he got the early pick from the KO there, he did oh. Boathouse and, and actually got, you know, because of that was or KJ was able to get a couple of so he's learned from his mistakes. Oh, Justin gets two in main here. KJ puts down the ult for retake. Let's see what ECG does to... Ooh, and ECG does go down. Yep, and that was a really well-timed KJ ult by their KJ. It really allowed them to... Unfortunately, I'm excited to see what they do next. Um, see it kind of by see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force up here. It looks like they're gonna force here. Save. Hopefully, get it at least to a 12-12. If anything, I mean, I have faith that they can take this to the rest of the way, but we'll see how it plays out. They get Omen suppressed in Garden here. Oh, and Garza goes down. That's really unfortunate. KO uses a blind. Uh, green team is WSU Esports. They're a team that ECG has scrimmed against a handful of times. They have a pretty decent matchup every single time. So Emerald decided to ask them to do a best of three. And here we are. There's the KJ alarm bot. KJ in for a rude awakening if she continues to swing that considering the army that's coming towards her right now. They get KJ and CT. Fish chip getting them. That's Babs. No, I'm still trying to get used to observing. Don't. It's definitely okay. Ooh, Babs falls to the op. Let's see if... Oh, nice shot from Orion. He never misses those. ECG is not a GC team. They are challengers. Um, looking to move into the tier three tier two scene hopefully within the next year or so ecg does have a game changers academy team though they are my pride and joy my everything i love watching them compete too so two teams within ecg rocking it but this one is our challengers team <laughs> shout out to my baby girls jewels of ecg 
Looks like Jet gets some early picks here on our boys, but we'll see what they do with that. They have Spike down in tiles. And T boys and T. Max boys. I think he was trying to. I think Bass was trying to clear all the tiles with that updraft. It looks like. Yeah, I think his. I think his only thing is just remembering this is a danger angle before our little cubby here. Either way, it was definitely a really good cross played by the enemy team. Bound to happen. Let's see if they can get it up here to twelve with this last play. I, they always get those 50s. They hear the parade tumbling towards main. Jet choosing to fall off. Babs going on to site with Omen TPing. Fish trying to clear out as much space as possible. Just choosing to get Bap down in the middle of site. Honestly, not a bad play here. The enemy team has to do a lot of clearing and sight line control just to even try to get a defuse down. KO getting... And they go down, and that will be the end of game one. WSU Esports taking it 13 11. Nice try, ECG. Really well played. Gonna be moving on to map two, which was bind. That was bind, right? Uh, yes, map two, map two, map will, be two bind. will be bind. And that is, I believe, the other team's pick. Uh, other team chose Ascent first. We chose Bind second. I'm pretty sure. And then uh, Decider Map will be Lotus. <laughs> Luther's coming in with the I want to play Bind. Well, Luther, you should go talk to your teammates and see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you go, go join VC. See what they say for you. I'm trying to buy we'll take a five minute increment break. Yeah, yeah. piss break. Yep, five minutes. Um, we can start back at nine forty-five or eight forty-five for you. Yeah, that, that's fine. BD. I wonder if we can steal one of them yes, for sir. a post-match interview. Luther, go find them. Luther. Uh, looks like the looks like everybody wants Baps. Baps, ask if you are allowed for a post-match interview please and thank you okay we're gonna try we're gonna try and see if we can get baps in here our goat my bestie baps definitely been putting in the work a lot he has really shown some true dedication to this team like getting an extra coaching working really hard on just being inadvertently over aggressive and everything he's been coming up and showing up in these games and it's just made me so proud so we'll see if we can get him in here if not we do have to be understanding it is coach's orders so we will have to probably just sit and chill he is so humble for real <laughs> no that man has a fucking ego what do you mean <laughs> but he has a good ego he has a good ego He's he's really he's learning how to use it to his advantage, rather than just playing willy nilly. The reason why Baps' ego is okay is because he uses it to, he uses it to the advantage of the team, right? Like listening into them um, talk when they're playing, he's always hyping up his teammates. He's always he, all of them are better morale high. It, it truly is it truly is um, cool to see <laughs> how much of a, an effect that it has on his teammates. So. Definitely, definitely been enjoying seeing the tuning of where that ego is going, you know? <laughs> Mikey asking where his post-match interview is. Mikey, if you were in-game, I, I would choose you every time my Aim Labs coach <laughs> Emma's saying shit right now. Okay. 
We are regrouping in like one minute. He said 9.45. That is four minutes. Y'all. I feel like usually there's a little bit more time in between that. But like that's just oh, there's easy. normally like 10 minutes. But I mean, that's VCT level. What are we? Pre-VCT level. <laughs> Not me being in both YouTube and Discord streams. I mean, me too, but that's because they're on my computer. <clears throat> He's going over protocols because not everyone's informed on it. Honestly, which is very true. We did just recruit two new players to our roster this week. Uh, looks like um, Justin is subbing in uh, for Luther at this time. Why is it so low quality? Oh, you know what? That's, Jack? that's plain Jake? choosing that game. Oh, the guy. I was like, bro, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> you motherfucker. I will purposefully play Viper and I will molly you for the rest of our games. No, please. <laughs> but we did just recruit two new people to our roster, like I was saying earlier. Garza being our official 10th man. Or 10th? There's not 10, there's only 5. Our official fifth man on the main roster playing with the guys only has gotten in a couple of games with them for trials and everything but has been showing up and definitely playing with the team and you know being able to kind of keep them together what were you gonna say yeah. well i was gonna say i don't know that he's really had much of a chance to work on ascent with this team either um the maps that they've been focusing lately have been the premier ones as far as i'm aware and ascent has not been recent am i crazy for that i mean honestly you're not wrong i don't think they've been really focusing too much on the um uh, i don't want to say the premier game or premier maps specifically but they have been practicing a lot of uh lotus and I think Bind was one of them, so we'll definitely see what happens with Bind here today. Um, and then Lotus being the decider, their Lotus has been extremely strong, even when my team scrimmed against them, you know. We went into overtime, I think, four times <laughs> before we finally all just decided to call it quits. It was uh, definitely insane. What are the odds we can get Exil? <laughs> yeah, try to get Exil in here. I miss that guy. We don't talk about that Lotus game? Ah, why not? It was such a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even a part of that game, and I'm tired thinking about what you guys went through. Oh, my game. God. It was just continuous overtime over and over and over again. Finally got to a point where Emerald just called it quits <laughs> and left the game entirely. But, I mean, hey, it was kind of worth it, though. I mean, we were able to get a decent amount of practice in, and we were... Uh, you know, just kind of ready to dominate on Lotus. It was like triple overtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, M said, I'm pushing, and when I die, I'll set four. Honestly, that's not spaced. I, I was very tired by the end of that. And then people were asking me to play comp after. I was like, I'm like 99% sure you're just crazy. But hey, 11 one and 13 5. On oh, God, our Lotus games popped off this week in Premiere. They were definitely, definitely good. Jules and Kate, I need your opinions. Yes, Ari. I'm so here for you, Ari. What do you need, my dear? Accept my aim loss turn request. I will after this. I don't want to try to load up aim laps. <laughs> like while I'm streaming to Discord and to YouTube. Are you ready, brother? What short shirt and color hoodie should I request? Oh, you're Black. asking me hard questions. You think that I know? <laughs> Black. <laughs> you think that I, I answer myself for myself? Oh yeah, That's Nick. What are the what are the biggest sizes that you have um, that you can offer? Because like I'm trying to be like in We're the most oversized. That, That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm I trying to just like, wear a hoodie. <laughs> right. I, I want to feel like I'm wearing a dress when I'm wearing a hoodie, you know? Like, I, that's my favorite way to wear a hoodie, you know? <laughs> no, on oh God. One more minute. One more minute. In the form, there's a link. Just Jeez, go through. brother. I need to play all my Premiere games in the Sun jersey. No, you do. 
Guys, okay, quick story. The funniest thing happened to one of my teammates. He entered, what was it, like Tarek's uh, sun bundle little Tell him to thing. pinch it off. I, I'm tired of listening to these guys. Oh, my God. Uh, but Jake here entered the Tarek's little sun bundle uh, competition thing. And uh, his clip made it to, what, top 50? It was top, like, 50, right? Yes, sir. And he got a custom Sun jersey with his gamer tag on the back. It's actually pretty right. sick. <laughs> but he actually cheated the system, so... Um... We're ready. We're ready. We just... <laughs> We're streaming. Live, brother. All right. Looks like we are going live for map two. It's currently 9.45. Looks like we've got another game ahead of us. Let's see if ECG can pull Bind through. Really excited to see what they do here. Um, looks like they are going to be defending first. One of their best maps, if, I, if I'm correct in saying that. So the confidence already going into a game with knowing that you're solid on it is is huge honestly and it, interesting a little bit of a role change from baps here norm well i mean i say a little <laughs> bit of role change but what i really mean is that chamber is just a duelist with a sentinel kit you know what I'm it's saying? no truly and baps is on chamber while i'm never normally a fan of the chamber pick simply because it's just really rough on retake when you don't have like that extra util. Baps can normally pull off chamber in ways that like just shock me genuinely every single time. So seeing him on chamber here, pretty nice. I think he'll be running chamber on Lotus if we get to map three, but I guess we'll have to see. It looks like they are choosing to run the double smokes and our WSU esports opponents are choosing to run double sensi with the cypher and chamber and the single smokes on cloves looks like they're gonna have a little bit of a rough time pulling off fakes but i guess we'll have to see they yeah. might be looking for a more attack heavy comp so which is Let's... also a little bit of confusing to me because with an attack heavy comp i don't know that i would ever choose two sentinels only eclipse was running a clove my team lets me run clove sometimes <laughs> got to run clove on lotus clove on lotus is lotus. pretty fun i she will so say fun. they were so fun there uh, and it was it was really fun playing them and having a viper as well the viper clove combo i think is is my new favorite um for single orb smoke single wall smoke you know honestly i can definitely see that i would love to play like a viper clove combo if somebody would play viper for me but I guess we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll come. I'll come guest play for you guys if you ever need a viper. Let's I'll go. That's my baby girl right there. Okay. Always letting me run stuff. You can roll whatever you want. I'll support you. <laughs> now it's interesting to see us setting up on defense here. We have um, Garza sitting back in spawn right now, but leaning towards speed side. That's probably just because. I personally think that it is so easy to get sky flashes onto sites from from defender side of um of bind. So oh, am I? They're just going straight day. I'm a liar. All right, let's see what the enemy team has cooked up here. Looks like they're going for a heavy long. I'm gonna switch over to Babs POV here. I don't think it's a little chipped off. Justin's able to get one, but gets traded out pretty fast from the Rays. Ooh, nice shot from Baps on the Rays. Now he was not prepared for the second swing out of the elbow. Not where I am in, but. We're seeing Fish and um, Mark is sitting in Hooper and not going to make something happen. It looks like they go down. Honestly, I'm always I'm kind of used to seeing ECG go down in their first pistol round. But they always bring her back in the second. Let's see what they cook up here this time. They just want to give them a round, you know, make them feel good, start again. So true. We're always, we kind of like one of those slow start teams, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always bring it back in the end. I'm 
I'm seeing a little bit of confusion, a little bit of back and forth as to where people are going to be, but it looks like they're stacking over B site. Um, in? I have never seen that wall thrown from there before, if I'm being honest. I've always thrown it on the other side of the wall. And that is a quick rotate over to A site as their raise takes a lot of space into U Haul. Um, it looks like we have started to entry on the site with a Molly going out. Spike planted. Wingman's still and getting the plant down. Yep, and it looks like uh, those two close smokes were really helpful in, in blocking sight lines there, so. Toxins going up. We're seeing some retake of you. Ooh, nice dink on the raise from Viper, but not enough to get him out. Looks like Garz is able to trade him out. Ooh, and he, guys, really good eco. Getting the shields off of Chamber. Cypher, the only one untouched here, which is honestly really good for an eco round. Hoping to see some race sky action here. I'd really like to see these guys playing together. They weren't really strong on the flash duelist combo on ascent. Looks like they are gonna stay split up though. Fish taking some early contact. Backing off, giving them showers. Here's Ray's come up, hopefully, getting the smoke down on there. Got a little bit of wall damage to Ray's, but. The enemy team cutting noise here. Don't know if Fish Chip heard the chamber tr TP go down. Somehow able to take a decent amount of space here. Able to stay together in a 5v2. Baps, come on. We know to take guard time. Gecko dropping down on the site, trying to get bombed down, using Wingman to do so. It went down after time, so, or Gecko, well, Gecko died before, I think it was like the same timing, it's really weird. I don't know how Wingman works anymore. Wingman can't plant if Gecko is dead after being the last person alive, but they must have killed him just as bomb went down in order to get that go. That's why they won immediately, they didn't have to defuse, I do believe. If anybody wants that wall lineup that Justin's doing here, does it from a different spot than me and Kate are used to. Looks like they get an early pick on Fish Chip here. Guards are gonna back off now that they're still trying to take that space. Dizzying into Hookah. This is a very interesting smoke because it just provides a little bit of space for the enemies to try to peek out of Hookah, but any, any split that they stand there would allow them to still be tagged by that wall, so it would force them to stay, so it's very interesting. Justin goes down on backside. Yep, the Rays was able to satchel a little bit faster than us were able to re there. Piss off, my ult's ready. What a good pick Fire from Garza. And they were great. Oh, and ECG goes down again. Looking like we're in the same spot as last time. Their defense kind of off to a slow start. But we'll see what happens as they try to pick it back up. Going into, I think, a save here again. Let's see if they get a thrifty just like they did last time.
Wait, it looks like... Contact that he received off of A and the aggression that our boys uh, showed in, in the flank, they were able to pick off all the people killing folks. Uh, unfortunately, that thrifty was a little bit too far out of our reach, but we will be back on a full buy, so we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get our guys into another round here. A little low, of course, going into the timeout on round five. I guess we're on six now. <clears throat> Hopefully Emerald cooking some stuff up. Hopefully pointing out that we're not playing too well together. We're doing a lot of solo peaks despite kind of being grouped up. There's a lot of just kind of like solo fights coming from our teammates and really not playing together. Hopefully kind of addressing that and getting some aggression. Possibly either out showers or out long from our rays in sky. And, and ultimately, a lot of that is due to the fact that our Raisin Sky, our initiator, and our duelist have not played together for very long. It's so much easier and so much more natural once you've been playing with someone and practicing over and over playing with them to make those plays. And, and sometimes just a reminder is needed during these times that, hey, you two are meant to play together or, you know, you two are, are meant to, like, m make plays off of each other. So let's let's get it going and hopefully they'll be able to clean up the solo fights. Looking like our timeout is coming to an end. Still another 17 seconds before that round goes. Giving our guys enough time to hopefully set up on something here. Sending our smokes, initiator, and duelist over to a main. Orion looking like he's giving them the go-ahead to finally get some action out here. It looks like he's going to actually be following them up. Getting that... Ryan getting picked off there. One has already made it into their U-Haul, so they do have to be pretty careful about that. Um, and knowing that there definitely is at least one sh shower. Ooh, Garza with a spray transfer here. Clove coming up with the... Definitely... Hopefully call that they don't fight that, though. Trying to get the Clove down. Nice. No. Silent jump up to heaven, but then decides to make noise once up there. Not entirely sure what the call was there, but you know, it's okay. Happens. Looking to see if anybody's trying to follow him up heaven. Looks like they got the head glitch peak there, but not able to get too much off of Baps. Just a single body shot. That's a good spot. Crap destroyed. Good pick on Gecko. Very nice. And we're down to shooting buddies. Baps. Good lord, looking like Demon One right now. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Don't definitely don't see them using that too much. Hopefully going to get a nice pick on long here. Three of them peeking out. Bap's not even in his I know exactly where. Getting out, giving up the Viper, which is honestly crucial to the site hole, not even to have Viper Wall anymore. Looks like enemy chamber is going to be trying to push into. Nice job, Babs. Good pick on the chamber, trying to aggress too far. Both of them getting decayed an elbow. Let's see what's going on over here. Unfortunately, Fish got a little bit, uh, 
a little bit fucked for that one, if I'm being honest. But um, it was really, a really good try on that take there. Um, I like the coordination. I'm already starting to see them just play together a little bit more, mm -hmm. which, if anything, is, is going to make a big difference in how the rest of this game plays out. Most definitely. I just definitely wish they would have gotten a little more practice time in together before going into this best of three but honestly they're really pulling it i know they're gonna have a bunch of notes after the end of tonight no matter how this plays out hopefully we see them setting up a little more bap's going for the early peak here with chamber of good pick on gecko two no truly bap's looking just to get off site here Able to get out of there. With only 33 HP, it's a little scary, but honestly, like, that's still a 5v3 situation instead of a 4v3. So, um, every time you get out, like, it makes a difference. You want to play? Let's Looks play. like we have Viper and Sky on a really long flank here. Somehow getting past, I think, using Rays as the bait to kill one of the Cypher trips. Spike planted. There's one down. Cypher TPing away. Able to stick the defuse here. There's that MasterCard thrifty we were looking for. Guys, gals, and non binary pals. <laughs> Staying alive to keep the gun, but at what cost? Was it even worth it? I guess maybe. When you, I mean, when you're up that much econ, though, like, you kind of want to fight a little bit, right? I don't know. But hopefully it was just an accidental TP on this first part. It kind of looked like it fell through. Looking like we're going to get some aggression with a sky flash over here on long again. Hopefully not sacrificing our Viper. Using both Sky Flashes just within the first 10 seconds of the round could be a little crucial to our retake. Looks like they're going to choose to just go back through, wasting crucial time on that rotate. Maybe that decision was made more to play off of the Sky ulti instead of per se the flashes, but it will be hard for them to be retaking the site without any sort of flash utility other than the Omen Blight. Luckily, regrouping up, we are in a full 5v5 retake. Enemy Ray's a little low on health, though, putting us in a slight advantage. Looking like we're getting some trades off. Really good econ damage. Yeah, that was really good damage. <laughs> Definitely, hopefully in a place to continue on a full buy, being able to buy some of their teammates. Justin, yeah. you got five in your bank. Let's get a little... There we go. Anybody need a loan? <laughs> Anybody no. need a loan? Such an odd place to put the wall. Justin, we're gonna talk about this later. <laughs> like, I can see the benefits, but also I can see the negatives. No, truly. Looking like we're gonna get a little bit of early aggression from Baps again with this chamber TP. A little in a disadvantage though because of this Viper wall. Kind of putting it early based off of no information. I would like to see them hold off on throwing it up a little bit until after contact is taken, but that's just me personally. Only about halfway it. now. Looks like Bap is going to try to back out a little bit. Fire in 
Holy Huge round from ECG there. Beautiful retake. Looks like I got a tech issue going. I'm seeing these retakes start to come back into like start to become cleaner and cleaner in this uh this game. So hopefully we will be able to pull them getting two more this half. No, truly. Hopefully, this tech issue, whatever it is, kind of unknown to us right now. Not sure what's going on as far as a tech issue, but... Who's having what's... a tech issue? Um, unsure. Just said P10 tech issue. So it looks like we're going to be taking a tech pause here. I don't even remember what casters are supposed to do in this. Um, game show time. I'm going to make up a game show in my head right now. Everyone give me two seconds. <laughs> I think I need five seconds. <laughs> That's Emerald Code for a sneaky second time out. Uh oh. It's Emerald cheating. So, I mean, it looks like everybody's like ready. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having tech issues. <laughs> you know, we can only take their word for it. Hero Pop is uh, having some tech issues in this game. I'm sure it's really detrimental to uh, the continuation of this specific series, but we're going to pause for him in this moment of time. Thank you, everybody. We'll take a moment of silence for our Lord and Savior. Hero Poppet, aka Luther, aka the Goat of Valorant. AKA Woofer, because he's a W. Woofer! Woofer! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like our timer is about to run out. Garza still looking towards our spawn. Come on, brother, lock in. Ah, uh, here we are. Looks like they've got the Viper pit going down on long, taking control. Enemy team on a short, though. Yeah, no, not any contact. Was, um... Well, there was no contact before that Viper ult went out. So hopefully, um, hopefully Justin gets to sit in that for a little bit. Yeah, he loved it. I mean, like, there's gonna be two coming over towards showers trying to get Orion out of here. Is he ready? And he is I not ready. Last player standing. Enemy team knows exactly where Justin is here. Hearing him have TP'd and throw Viper Molly down. Oh, and he, the crouch peak. Something I'm used to seeing from our GCA player nonsense. However, it looks like we're going to be seeing it tonight here too, folks. <laughs> no, truly. <laughs> Dutch, Dutch. <laughs> no one does it like me. That's so true. No one does it like nonsense here. Looking like Baps going for the force on the operator. Taking one down with him. Never ever taking damage. Baps is truly just the goat with the op. I. I'm always amazed at how flawlessly he pulls that shit off. For real. He is our op king. I'm a, I'm a little bit... Um, I don't know if you saw that. I was very interested to see how that viper wall kind of blocked the sight line of... The view of that from long. Except for the barrel of his gun. So that was very interesting interactions to see. Um, it looks like they were able to successfully grab Mewtil from Garden and are actually just sitting on TP right now. So either they're faking. Oh yeah! Oh, Monster on the loose! That's two. 
That's three. Bomb, oh yeah. And, and then an easy, this can't, seems like it could be an easy retake for our boys. They're sitting five healthy people um, off site, ready to retake as a team. The rotate was relatively quick for them as well. Um, 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Um, and playing it to get rid of these uh, people on site. So. Rash isn't done with you. Oh, getting him through the box. Nice retake. Beautiful. Putting us at a 4 8 half. Honestly, not too bad. I've heard that 4 8 is the new 9 3. Me personally, 4 8s are my best games. Not gonna lie. Like, if you think about it, a 4 a 4 8, like, that is so winnable. Um, ultimately, you've. If you just flip the script on them and, and attack well, then they have no no chance to recover from that. Um, with a three nine, yeah. even it's it's a little bit easier to hold on to that lead. But there's something about only being up four. <laughs> you and pistol, it's basically six eight. No, truly, so because true. at that point, like you're just right behind them, and you put yourselves in a really good spot. Our team being pretty attack heavy with their comp, I think. Knowing that Baps isn't really going to be using Chamber to lurk. Hopefully using Justin instead as the Viper. Or honestly just taking sight every single time. Possibly going to have a little trouble going against a Chamber and a Cypher at the same time. But we will have to see. Orion trying to take up short space here. Let's see how fast he's able to come. Hopefully get this Clove off guard and not ready for that close peek there. Clove taking in that extra healing. Beautiful pick from Garza. Ooh. Just one more. Um, an easy 2v1 here. So good, man. We're beaten by this guy. I'm asking myself the same thing. <laughs> the gangster messages go crazy, am I right? Player standing. Beautiful clutch for Garza here. Easy 1v1. Absolutely nothing for him. Left with 74 health. He was literally good to go the entire time. <laughs> Shit, not for GC. <laughs> Nick, you right. We struggling out here, but it's okay. We, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. Easy, easy. Garza is the goat. On God. New roster, new you guys. I almost said new us, but like, I'm just here. I just work here. <laughs> it's the spirit. <laughs> Truly. Ooh. Fish tip going down to the cipher with the simple sheriff shot. To be honest, we did get Garza from Gangster. Garza wanting to be a part of an up and coming org, well, just wanting to play with a group of people who genuinely enjoy the game rather than going for people who care more about money and frags and everything. Always having really good energy with the team in his trials. Able to take down the Cypher on site. Are they aware of the Clove already here? Um, it looks like not. There is no indication from this team that they know that the Clove is on site. Which could be really dangerous. Um, especially now that we are down to a 3v3. Garza um, goes down. Last player standing. Viper and Chamber oh, looks like our Viper is playing some post plant here. She's got two mollies in here. She's got two mollies in here. Yeah, to prevent plant however it looks like unfortunate not being able to get that buy up enemy team getting the thrifty here able to get two phantoms and a bulldog out of that very unfortunate for our guys here let's see how they we're able to hopefully bring this back. 5-9. Not a terrible... Not a terrible place to be at all. No, and ultimately we know that these guys... Uh, they struggle on their pistol rounds. So honestly, I, I'm 
the first one that they got was huge for them. Um, and hopefully they can take that energy into this next uh, save round that they have. Unable to get chip damage off on the chamber. Hearing him fall back to sight, though. Hopefully getting a decent amount of information here. Right, raise on top of the truck. I don't think they've seen the raise here. Spike is down. Last player standing. Ooh. Spike down A. <laughs> Unfortunate truly. Um we're actually able to get the, the cloak with the right click, but the gecko uh, flash came at just a moment too early for him to be able to kill the gecko as well. So um they are back to uh full or just about full buy so um they have been hitting a a couple of times so we're starting to see a little bit more of of a b-sided hit from them it looks like maybe a, a it looks hole, like a hole, perhaps and it looks nope. like with that our enemy team is also going to be stacking a little more towards b Having the read that on the buy round will typically go towards be able to get the early pick off on raise here. Orion about to hopefully blind for his team. Gecko able to get out with his life here. Letting the enemy know where they're going, they're choosing to try to fake that. The Cypher is staying on site with the other two going all the way over to A, so this might be the chance that they need to take this, um, take this site and, and keep the ball moving. Cypher just set out a new trip, as well as his cam being up. <laughs> Unlucky from Baps here, getting picked off by the Cypher. Last player standing. Let's see if Garza can pull this off here. Nice play by Garza. Huge. Looking at we're at a 610 here. Hopefully able to pick up, getting at least close to an overtime match here. Hoping to get to that third map. I really want to see their Lotus here. As much as I am tired, I'm more excited about Valorant. I don't know about you, but I'd much rather be awake doing this. <laughs> Play Lotus 2. Play Lotus 2. <laughs> We need, we, you know, you know how people are always like spam this B for DSG and shit like that? We need something for Eclipse. What, what emote rhymes with Eclipse? Eclipse. Oh god. I guess we could go with ECG and so, you know, like, spam this thing. You know what I mean? We, need, we do need to figure one out. I think that would be really fun. Clove going with the right. Although my favorite right is this one. <laughs> Looking like they are in a 4v3 post plant. Getting some really good picks off on A here. Oh, Ryan's smoking off. Um, spam the snips to help Eclipse. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> spam the snips to help Eclipse is so cute. Luther, W choice, W choice. That's my personal favorite now. <laughs> Spam the snip south clip. All right, guys, you know what to do. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Go convict plane. 
I will kick you out right now. I swear to God. That viper calling my name. Uh, it won't let you. Okay, everybody, go join the server that has the snips. Oh, <laughs> I will drop the link just for y'all. I already throw, so I know. Don't worry, I know. All right, let's see what our guys are doing here. Some heavy presence on B Long, choosing to TP out, going for a pretty closely let's empty play. site, already allowing for the enemy team to have rotated. Three now in danger to where our guys are. Unable to get back around. Match point. I think our guys are really only lacking in the util usage to get them onto site. Really struggling to pair walls and smokes and flashes together and unable to kind of like allow rays to take space here. I think is kind of like their biggest issue as of yet. Spend the sims to help Eclipse on oh, God. Toxins going up. Put real airy. Every time you do it, I'm just putting it in there. Spend the sims to help Eclipse. Alright, it looks like we're going to try to base up a few long, waiting for um, the rest of the So that's, that's really, really good info for them. Uh, it looks like their raids are starting to back off with the two of them, uh, the two enemy teammates starting to creep around elbow. This could be a dangerous creep if they aren't able to back in time. Unlucky getting... Getting caught with that util out. Unable to get that last part. And a GG's goes to WSU Esports. Unlucky. Looking at an ending of an 0-2 series tonight. Really good game from WSU. Like I said, this team is like actually insane. I love watching them play because like every scrim that I've watched, it's always been so back Yo, and forth. GG's guys. And that's partially why you guys are fucking solid, bro. GG's guys against this team is is you know it's going to be a challenge and you know they're going to be fighting everybody is going to be fighting for that entire game um and it was really really fun to see all all those fights happening truly and hopefully we can get a post-match interview at least from one of our players i'm sure emerald's probably going to end up yapping for quite some time though so i guess we'll hang out for a little bit kind of see what's going on and see how they're feeling i'm definitely <laughs> ted man brother it is my bedtime i got work in the morning we did this on a tuesday instead of a wednesday <laughs> i am extra tired um then don't play okay do you have 10 people to play valid question in my opinion that is, that is always welcome you can set up 10 mans in the server that is why we have this server please do exactly friends, come, come host it in these servers um, we for sure we do more, and more people doing that here yeah, we definitely, we do have the 10-man bot, um, easily able to set that up for everybody. Yes, Tuesday, motherfucker. Okay, can we still interview for, for a post-match interview? Preferably Babs or Ryan, or Orion. Those are the two that have been requested. So, um, everyone, please give me one of them. Thank you. <laughs> I would appreciate it. This motherfucker kept coming, kept coming in to listen to me. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, Ryan, it's your time to shine. 
He's supposed to be yapping. He's supposed to be coaching right now. <laughs> I'm just like waiting for one of their names to pop up in the thing. Please, oh please, the fans are waiting, bro. They're waiting for Babs or Orion, the two fan Yo, favorites Wooper. tonight. Yo, Wooper. <laughs> for post plant interview or for post game interview, thanks. Send me that link for the vibe. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. You're going to hear a lot of yapping over it, Emerald. I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize. I had a lot of fun doing it, so... Slay. I'm going to say we should start casting more games. Can we do, um, can we do this more often? It's actually really fun. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time. And I... God knows I'm a yapper. God knows I'm a yapper. So just getting to yap while I watch Valorant? Literally no, the truly... Okay, I'm just messaging Emerald directly. Please, I beg. Please, and thank you. Goodness. I think he's going to ignore my DMs. I'm not going to lie, which um, kind of unfortunate. Yeah, he said not right now. We're being cocked blocked from the post-match interview. Kind of sad about it. Maybe I should go add one of the enemies here. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, hey, you want to come gonna talk about it? Our boys aren't going to give us a post match interview. We might as well get it. Oh, that's what I'm saying, bro. Aerie is putting, uh, putting the spam, the snips to help Eclipse as our official motto. I'm pinning it. <laughs> I'm pinning it. I'll have Babs put all my snips, uh, snips emotes in here. Oh, <gasps> no, that's perfect. Oh my god, yes. I, I gave them to him but he just didn't put them in he hasn't done it yet that's fair he probably saw it was just like not valorant oh my god we have one of them yo 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 what's going on yo we got orion here for our official ecg post-match interview how yeah. are you feeling about these games tonight honestly they weren't too bad um considering we had like this was the first ever practice that we technically held with the new five that we have mm -hmm. uh it actually went really fucking well to be honest uh there's a lot of things we need to iron out but um overall i feel like our ideas were good the ideas were there it's just we haven't played with each other enough yet so most of the stuff we were executing was like either slow mistimed or it was just kind of a disconnect because we just aren't used to playing together but it, it felt mm -hmm. like a good Good definitely matchup, you know? definitely saw that i was really proud of your guys as a set i'm not gonna lie i've seen a lot of you know teams get really disconnected there but you guys are able to really pick it up towards the end not able to really come out with the win but honestly like that was a really good game i was really proud to see that and we were talking about you know having two people that you're not used to fully playing with yet um chat is in fact asking about the energy from the ace though our baps op ace how was that in VC? What was going on? What was the energy uh, like? Well, let's just say I couldn't fucking hear afterwards because <laughs> we just have that screaming fucking, let's fucking go! The entire time. So like, uh, you know, it was, the energy was fucking exactly peak after that, bro. It was crazy. Exactly it was crazy. Yeah. Well, it definitely seemed like a turning point for you guys uh, for the rest of the, for the rest of the match. Truly, it felt like um, you guys were playing a little bit more actively as a team. So it was really fun to see, see mm. from you guys. So good games, guys. I sure, do sure. I do have a question kind of about what I yep. saw as far as how you guys are choosing to play both maps. Um, not fully familiar with your guys' protocols or anything. Um, I am curious to ask, why don't we see more kind of like flash duelist plays together? Um, a lot of the time seeing them a little disconnected, either you playing with the duelist or um, the kind of like secondary initiator playing with the duelist instead um kind of just curious to see like what's going on there and what the decision making is and you know choosing to aggro on defense or choosing not to right right so for a lot of our plays we're setting up a lot of traps or a lot of holds so we weren't doing a lot of flashy like duelist push with the initiator kind of thing there was mm -hmm. occasional so we would set it up but that's like on a whim typically the main idea that we had was holding angles and holding map space and then taking space off of certain things that the enemy team isn't taking. Um, we didn't feel it was necessary to have a flash. Also, because 
we were disconnected. It kind of caused that little bit of a gap, to be honest. But overall, uh, we just it wasn't one of our main ideas for both of those maps, though. I see. I see. Honestly, no, that makes sense. I was just, you know, kind of curious to see. Uh, I opened up chat for questions for you. Um, however, we're getting one question from my lovely teammate, Plane. Uh, he wants to know your favorite color. My favorite color? Oh, it's fucking <laughs> royal purple. Royal purple. Bang of a color. Solid. Yeah. Very, very good choice in color. Uh, let's see. Uh, Connor is asking, <laughs> milk before cereal or cereal before milk? What are we, what are we doing here? What if you do both at the same time? Why not get creative? No. Uh, oh, i That's the first time I've heard that. Hold on. Easy is asking if you will marry him. Um, uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lemon would like to know what is your social security number. However, I might, I will advise you to maybe not ask that one or answer that one. Uh, me personally, I do have an answer. If okay. you want me to ask. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. If I, I'll give out my social if they give me their silly little numbers on the back of their credit card. That's that's how that goes. Ooh, fair, fair response. All fair. right, Ari does have a question for you. What's it like yeah. kind of IGLing, stepping into that role for the new teammates, having to kind of take charge with the new roster and everything? A little frustrating, a little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie, a little frustrating, because, you know, it's it's brand new, first practice in, so everybody's everybody's kind of clashing ideas together. Um, Almost a new team, basically, you know? Yeah basically so it's a little mm -hmm. bit rough a lot of, a lot of different ideas going on a lot of a lot of people have mm -hmm. their own kind of idea how to play the game um mm -hmm. but overall it's not too bad actually uh they they know how to fill their spots they know how to play their positions really well so most of the calls that i can make they they perform really well off of oh nice very good to hear i'm glad to hear that uh another question from ari do they catch on quickly or was there a little bit of tunnel visioning going on Do, like, does our team catch on quickly, or does yes. the players? Yes. Like, okay. it's kind of that there was like tunnel visioning or 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 whatnot going on. No, no, not really. Um, I felt like we were pretty open to reacting to what they were doing for the most part. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of the time when the, it could have seemed like we might have had tunnel vision, it was a lot of set plays that we were setting up to force them into certain spaces to then react of, off of what space they go into. But yeah. All right. So last question for you tonight, Orion, is going to be from Ari one more time. How did you like your guys' comp versus theirs specifically on Bind, considering you did have a mirror comp? Mm, it was a little interesting. Bind was not well, Yeah. Was well, not a uh, considering, bind, but... considering the mirror comp on Ascent, you can't, can't really yes. comment yes. on that one. Right, yes. right. It was a little interesting. Um, mm hmm because we're so new it was kind of hard to play to our strengths a little bit more so a lot of their ironed out you know skills and especially pop execs on sites we didn't really handle very well mm -hmm. um but i feel like over time we learned a lot of how to play with each other especially with a double smoke comp against them we were able to kind of figure out how to take space properly especially against a pop exec that they kept doing over and over again but yeah it wasn't too bad Interesting. Good answers. Honestly, really good job from you guys in general. Definitely seeing a lot of strengths with this roster and looking forward to see how Luther is able to fit in with your guys' new fifth. Um, other than that, though, really good games, really good series. Hope to do this again sometime. Um, and I really look forward to the notes that Emerald had for you guys because this here tonight was already kind of like a step above of what you guys are already doing. So the fact that you guys are just going to get stronger and quite literally just better from here on out. Really exciting. Oh, yeah. Well done on, on it. Okay. L a little side note. Well fucking done on BAPS for not like being typical BAPS on Ascent. That was actually insane to me. Like he showed a lot of improvement just from my point of view. Um, being able to... <laughs> like is oh, this actually baps i was so proud of him um so 
really amazing job tonight and look forward to doing this again um but that's gonna wrap up our first stream with ecg in our first best of three series hopefully going to do this again gonna end it here tonight guys i hope everyone has a good night any final words from our lovely kate no thank you guys for being here i i appreciate being able to help cast with you today jules and i hope that you guys all have a wonderful night GG's, All right. GG's guys, good night.